China's people in purchasing power have made the nation an imposing global force. Its growth was sparked after opening up to cultures thousands of kilometers away, like Latin America, a world that until recently was alien to the Asian giant. It wounds one's pride to say that China practically knew nothing of Chile. They couldn't find it on a map. Fernando Marín is a director of Chile's Architects Association. He traveled to China to position his country's architecture as an exportable product. We sought out common ground. Some commonalities with China are geographic and climatic variety and diversity. Despite its small size, Chile is home to 23 of the world's 24 climates. And in terms of seismic activity, Chile has more than any other country in the world. And that is a very important point in common with China. In Chile, that issue has been resolved, and we have done so successfully. The devastating earthquake in Sichuan province that killed more than 11,000 people in 2008 highlighted the need to find experts to strengthen China's infrastructure. It was here that Chile's experience and knowledge became relevant for China. So much that the two countries are about to close on an 80,000-square-acre construction project. But architecture is just one of the areas the Chinese have focused on. China already has signed three free trade agreements with uh, Latin America, Chile, Peru, and Costa Rica. The Chinese companies see Latin America as uh, a big chance, opportunity for them. China is currently the biggest trading partner with Latin America and the Caribbean after the United States. Trade between these regions jumped 13-fold since 1995, going from $8.4 billion to $110 billion in 2007. According to experts, this is only the beginning of unlimited potential for entrepreneurs on both sides of the Pacific Rim. The desire to conquest new markets has opened the door for business summits like the China Lack Summit in Chengdu, where hundreds of Latin American business people had the opportunity to do business with Chinese buyers. And we have been building a number of alliances with uh, their development banks, their Exim Bank uh, of China, the Investment Corporation, uh, and a number of commercial banks. And we're trying to use all of these uh, platforms to help further the interest of countries in Latin America and businesses in Latin America that want to trade with China. Latin America's service offerings increasingly include renewable energy, technology, tourism, and food products like the Mexican brand Bimbo, one of the world's largest bread companies. Bimbo set its sights on Beijing in 2006. Here, there are very large markets, based on population alone, and on the speed with which incomes are growing among Asian consumers, particularly the Chinese. Jorge Zarate knew that his company, now known in China as Bimbao, would grow the famous white bear bread. This expansion could have taken place years ago if trade relations had warmed up sooner between the two continents. For many companies, being here is a competitive advantage. Having been here longer is even more of an advantage. And for those that haven't arrived yet, now is the time. Today, China remains the world's most dynamic market. In Latin America, it's gradually expanding the list of investors and business people who have dared to venture into a world of possibilities.